Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge in the wake of the release of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Now, the S8 has people's mouths watering with its large and tall infinity display, a new Bixby voice assistant, and a revamped design. So initially, it might feel like the S7 Edge is blurring out of vision, but that's not the case. Now, just to be clear, this is not a comparison video between the S7 and S8, though references to the S8 will be inevitable. In this video, I want to revisit and highlight the magnificence of the S7 Edge, which also extends to the S7 minus the curved display. So let's dive right in and see why the S7 Edge is still relevant. First and foremost, let us talk about the camera. The S7 Edge, in fact, has a brilliant 12 megapixel camera with an aperture of f1.7. It also has top-notch features such as the face detection autofocus and optical image stabilization. It delivers razor-sharp photos and has great low-light performance. It's one of the best smartphone cameras in the world, and you might be surprised to know that the S8 and S8 Plus have very similar cameras under the hood with the same specifications but with a minor sensor upgrade. S8 does offer some software enhancements that will increase the quality of the photos and deliver better low-light performance, but don't expect the upgrade to be mind-blowing. What I'm trying to say is the S7 Edge still has a flagship camera that is just as good as the iPhone 7 Plus and Google Pixel's camera, if not slightly better, and S8 does not make much of a difference. As for design, the S7 Edge is a gorgeous phone to look at from all angles. This is an indisputable fact, and in all honesty, it can actually compete with the S8. Some people might even prefer the old and more compact design and handling of the S7 Edge over the S8. The screen is still a world-class Super AMOLED display with Quad HD resolution. It's rich, vibrant, and tack sharp. Do not get too seduced by the marketing extravaganza of the S8's Infinity display. It actually is a finite display. It's simply a larger display and is HDR capable. Now, the larger display is a benefit, but there is barely any HDR content to use, so you can decide whether or not the HDR capabilities on a mobile device mean anything. In any case, what I'm trying to say again is that the S7 Edge's display quality and sharpness is just as good as the S8. It's only a smaller display with a more compact aspect ratio. Also, with the recent upgrade to the S7, it is now running Android Nougat 7.0, which was a fantastic upgrade. It gave the overall interface and menu a facelift and the software got a performance boost. So navigating through the phone is as smooth as silk with very rare stutters. Under the hood, you have the Snapdragon 820 processor and four gigabytes of RAM, while the S8 has a Snapdragon 835 processor and four gigabytes of RAM as well. Day-to-day -day experience of the S7 and S8 will be virtually identical from a software standpoint, minus the lack of things like Bixby the voice assistant on the S8. The S7 Edge still has IP68 water and dust resistance, same as the S8, and it has all those sweet edge functions on the software side. So you can slide towards the inside of the screen, which brings up the edge functions that can be fully customized and are very feature rich. You can throw a calculator in there or a compass, perhaps a weather widgets, really whatever you need. So that's basically it. And that's all I wanted to touch on. The S7 Edge is still a gorgeous phone, still has a top notch camera and still has high quality and high resolution screen. It is also up to date and feature rich in terms of software. Now remember, the biggest focus of the S8 is regarding its front, which is the removal of the physical home button so that a tall and large screen can dominate the front of the phone. This also leads to the awkward positioning of the fingerprint sensor on the rear right next to the camera. It would have been much more desirable if it was placed under the camera and centered such as the LG G6 or the Google Pixel. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure you drop a comment down below on what you think about your S7 Edge in the wake of the S8 release. Are you going to keep the S7 Edge or will you not be satisfied until you get the S8 and S8 Plus because you want the best of the best? Drop a comment below and let me know. Now make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and have a fantastic day. Do not forget to follow me on my social media channels on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a good day.